Hey everyone, it's Kay, and welcome back to another vlog which continues my recent upload from the Wimsu Law Fest 2023. But before I go further and share all the behind the scenes of the testimonial dinner 2023, don't forget to give my video its well deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would like to begin or say more about this vlog by expressing how tensed I was while all the preparations were ongoing. Actually, I was tense until the, e until the end or until the event night overall. Oh well, it's the usual struggle on the finances. You're wondering, kaya pa ba? And all, we have the money now and all others, the sponsors and all others. But, you know, you would always worry and whether the event would go well and all the whatnots that you could think about. So I was a little bit paranoid but was trying to relax overall. So that was the experience. And I guess it goes normally for any head or president of an organization who heads an organizing committee or who organizes an event for a school or a big event like this. So I think the only time that I felt relaxed was when I had my opening message and when the event finally came to a close, like the last testimonial speech was delivered. And again, overall, it was a success. So yeah, I'm very much grateful as usual and I don't know, until now, parang hindi ko pa rin alam saan magsimula when I express it. My eyes are sparkling, my heart's skipping a bit and all others. I'm just so grateful and happy and more so honored and privileged to really just, you know, be there and be the head of this event and serve people. So yeah, it's very much fulfilling. So. Big day ahead of us. Don't see that. I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna go on vlog. The journey to be here or to be this successful as organizers of the event is something I cannot fully describe as I was saying in a word detail. But one thing is for sure, it is really fulfilling to gather everyone, to hear the testimonial speeches of the Crimson Lawyers from the two batches, to see your law school professors attend the event that you organize, to meet new people and just bond and just spend time and all others is overall really an experience in itself so maybe the four walls of the classroom is not confined in it alone in law school but yeah this experience adds a new thing or makes it more holistic as future lawyers This is another law school extra, and every Wimsu Law student's law school journey goes incomplete without it. It's attending or being a part of the testimonial dinner for the new lawyers or new bar passers from the Wimsu College of Law. This is actually an event that is dedicated for the new Crimson lawyers who just passed a recent bar. So in this case, our, ours is um, a very big event because two batches will be catered. We're in the 2019 and 2020-2021 um, 
lawyers will be catered in this event so it's like one of the most anticipated most awaited because we know that pandemic really struck the world so everything in between was cancelled and all others so like it's only now that we have a chance to come back and get together for the testimonial dinner and supposedly this was to this was in november but due to circumstances it was cancelled and all so this i must say might even be my last grand event as president of the wing to law students association how i wish not yet because i wanted to organize the next testimonial dinner for the kagi wow bar 2022 so they're uh the batch that um, was catered by my batch as LSA officers. So I hope that I'll be able to serve them until their testimonial dinners. But yeah, it's just a wish though. But maybe this will be my grand last grand event as president because what comes next will be bar operations, preparations only, not the entirety of it, and um, other things like projects for school and all, which is also ongoing right now. So like a lot has been happening, but it's not as a grand program anymore. It's more of a project. So yeah. To speak before you, at this very moment is not only a privilege in itself but also an experience that I will forever treasure. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and for the support that you've always given LSA. The road to making this happen and for making the other things happen that you've seen in our other events was never easy but your presence here tonight made a difference in making this very day finally happen and I claim it's a success. And so, ahead of it all, in behalf of the Wimsu Law Community and as President of the Law Students Association, I deeply thank and welcome you all to the Crimson Lawyers Testimonial Dinner 2023 with this year's theme, Remembering Our Roots, honoring beginnings, and celebrating success. Dearest attorneys, my congratulations for welcome back home. Know that you are our inspiration and will always be as we move forward towards our separate journeys in the legal profession. And we are all in anticipation of your exceptional bar journeys as you share them later in your testimonial speeches. For now, let this moment be the beginning of that celebration. Enjoy, and again, welcome everyone to the testimonial dinner. Good afternoon. In these photos that you see, these were captures no, from the moments in that night. Our keynote speaker, Attorney Emilio Aquino, the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, was the person who we decided to invite for the night. And he gave a very heartfelt speech and it was such a great opportunity to have met him. I really had a good talk with him and he was even joking that uh, he cannot pronounce my second name so like that was a struggle and that was so cute so he was once a Wimsu law student by the way but he transferred to Manila and then that was where he finished his law studies and overall it was an over it was an unforgettable and um I am it's an overwhelming kind of night basta ang saya saya ko that night kahit kinakabahan ako so yun and it was unforgettable full of success stories and yeah happy memories and as the event ended, of course, that feeling of happiness intensified. In my head, I was saying, finally, we made it happen. Finally, we did it. No more pending events. Wala na kaming utang sa mga lawyers na pumasa and all. Parang alam mo yun, nakakatuwa lang talaga. And I'm so happy. And even though we've had those struggles, but I'm grateful that the people who were with me, the LSA officers who you can see in these photos, especially my sis AJ, the treasurer, was always there. He was like 
the person who I would always run to. Like, sis, kinakabahan ako and all. As I mentioned din sa aking, ano, um, law fest vlog. So, sis, if you're watching this again, maraming salamat and I'm so grateful. Also, to the dean, of course, for always being there and checking up on me kung okay pa ba daw ako, natutulog po daw ako and all. So, maraming salamat sa inyo. To my students who were with me tonight, dito sa night na to, tonight talaga. Um, si Ronem, si Dave, si Precious, and Zoe, who were the singers. So, si Ronem has always been with me and Dave, who takes good care of my photos and videos. So, yan, they were, they are my people talaga who are with me, who would know me, laugh with me, and all. Madam, mag-post ka na. So, maraming salamat sa inyo. And to the law students who were really also exerting effort to attend. Di madali magka-event sa gabi tapos may aaralin ka pa. But you, you guys were there. Thanks for being with me on this. My classmates, my law school constants, and, and everyone who in one way or another is very much supportive in the events of the LSA. Thank you guys. To Ms. Rap Alviso of the Alfa Ro Lambda, thank you for also being with me on the nights where um, things were needed to be polished. Kasi syempre, when I had the room, uh, she was with me. So, uh, Besh, maraming salamat sa help and all. This recognition alone no, to you and AJ will not be enough. Basta, I'm super, super grateful. So, yun. Uh, this might be my last event, as I was saying. But, I'm not closing any doors for other things who or other things or people who I can still support, especially the next set of officers. Yeah, it's gonna be a great job for you or a big job, I must say, or a big task. But I think one thing is for sure, love what you do and just enjoy. Kasi minsan lang yung mga moments na ganito. Kaya for me, when I started the presidency, I always make it last because not every moment will be the same. There would still be a bar ops there would still be a testimonial dinner but it will never be the same again once it happens in another lifetime in another year or what so yun basta sa lahat lahat my heart is full i'm grateful i'm happy yun and overall i'm really thankful for everything Good morning vlog. It's a day after testimonial dinner. Go vlog yan. So, kalat pa ang aking buhok thanks to me Obra for my look. Today, magliligpit na tayo ng mga gamit, everything. So, I don't know what this vlog will be. Pero parang ang konti ng exposure ko, Char. So, yun. Inisiz ko lang ang moment ng buhok ko. Kinulot ni me opera studio so let's go and pack our things and then let's have breakfast And so guys, I think that should sum up everything in this vlog. I'm really happy and thankful if you have reached this part. I will see you on the next vlog. If you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to comment down below. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Again, I'll see you on my next vlog. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Then, anong favorite meal mo sa seafood house by Leong? Uh, yung cordon bleu. Tsaka yung bise. Rap paluto. <laughs> sabihan mo dun yung ano, LSA Prince ang magpano. Ah, sige, sige, sabihin ka. Tapos sabihin, tapos mo ka, bakit pala? <laughs>